I'm so excited to say that today it's a big journey that we're going on. We are taking on the worst team in England. It is Morcom FC. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Surely that's not more can be, is it? It could be. I'm going to look it up. What? But anyways, guys, today we're going to rebuild them. And the reason for it is they have 60 overall. They have 58 attacking, 60 midfield, and 61 defense. As you can tell, Crawley Town was about to be the worst team, but they actually have 59 attacking, which means we're going to be rebuilding this beautiful squad, who, by the way, have an amazing away kit, as I can see right there. And we're going to go ahead and find some hidden gems that we're going to turn into the best players in world football and hopefully lift up the trophies at the end of this. Let's get started. I'm excited. Also, subscribe to the channel because we are getting closer and closer to half a million. Before we take a look into the team, let's just understand that this squad, despite being the worst at FC24, is actually in the sixth position in League 2. So congratulations for doing well and... Their top scorer is Michael Mellon. And you might be surprised and ask yourself, who is this Mellon? Well, let me show you. This Mellon is a player that is without a face, is 19 years old, is six foot one tall, and is basically pushing this team into possibly fighting for promotion. So at that stage, when I see stuff like that, it excites me. And if it comes down to players that are the highest potential in this team, it's this man, Bloxham, is apparently the one with the highest potential in the squad, but he's only loaned in. And then if you look at other players, the second one on the list is Mayer. Again, another one with no face, but a 19-year-old from England with the highest potential in this squad. But I have to say, since Mellon is doing so well for them in real life, Maybe he could be good for us too. I actually looked it up and yes, it's pronounced Morcom. So I am doing it right. Let's go. And we are looking at a couple of players here. And I just realized that we have a couple that are loaned in. So Connolly, Bloxham, who I mentioned earlier on, King, all these guys are starting 11 players and we're going to lose out on them. And I made sure to list up some of the oldest players of this squad. Anyone 30 and above has been listed on the transfer market. And we currently have a budget of basically 1 million and yeah we need to sell to be able to buy oh and actually hold on youth academy youth academy come on come on come on please 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 just give me someone 60 rated sasso oman 17 years old yes that's a good one he doesn't have high potential but he could fit straight into this squad let's freaking go dude he could play cam i think we do have a cam position don't we yes we do have smith in there right now what is his rating he comes in with 78 pace oh are you higher rated on the... Yes, he is higher rated on the wings. You know what? Blocks him. Goodbye. You're loaned in anyways. Oman, welcome to the team. Going to turn you into a right wing. Thank you, Youth Academy Gods. As always, I'd like to start off with a goalkeeper. Yes, when you have a weak squad, the goalkeeper is like the most important signing you can make. And we you know Germany has had some decent goalkeepers in the past years. And I'm going for one of them. Max Weiss from Karlsruhe SC is joining us for a decent fee, which we get a C form. I mean, that's all right. What's his rating, though? That's important. 64? Surely not. I mean, I take that. He comes in at the rating of 63. There we go. That's fine. That's a plus four upgrade on what we had just a second ago. I have sold on some of the old players, and I also let go of all the players that were loaned into the club. I want to focus on the ones that are here now and try and build from there. So that's what I'm doing. And I just realized Melon also is only loaned in really sucks that's a great thing so since the striker is only loaned in i'm going out i'm bringing in someone i've never used before another hidden gem and this career mode is going to be all about hidden gems all the freaking time and i love it so we are bringing in a player from 1860 munich yes of course 400k for mansur uro tagba a player that is actually american is walking into our club right now b rating for the price and an A from me for his rating itself. So, Melon, I'm sorry, buddy. You're only going to be a backup in this team. And the main man comes in with a 60 rating. 81 pace already. Great physicality already as well. The shooting is obviously something that we will need to improve. But he's 6 foot 3. And that gives us physicality in the attack. Let me know, though. Do you guys like to bring in players into your teams that are more like the agile top players? Or do you also like bringing in those six foot three, six foot two tall strikers? For me, in this game, because heading is actually quite effective, 
I don't mind the tall ones. Normally, I'm always for the skillful ones. Let me know in the comments down below what you prefer. And here we are now. Same as real life, isn't it? Sixth position at the end of the season. This team should not be at the bottom, man. What is happening here? Guys, we are now part of the playoffs. Yes, in the playoffs, we're up against Wimbledon and then potentially against whoever else comes up after I don't think this team makes it through, but it's already great to see that we have the potential to get up there. First game is a 1-1. Come on. Come on now. Please. Second game is a win. And then, here it goes. This is the one. This is the one that decides everything. If this team wins, we are no more a League 2 team right here. Let's see. Against Bradford. Kick off. Get it done. Get it done, lads. I know it's tough, but you can do this. Look at Oman's rating, 68. Oh my god, bro. Let's go. Come on. No. It's a loss. We're going to stay a League 2 team, but still, you know what? Getting this far in just our first season is massive progress. On paper, the worst team in the league. I couldn't make too many signings due to the budget restrictions, but we have done really well here. Let me see the numbers. In terms of goals... We have Mayer coming in with 23 and 5, plus 7 in growth, and then plus 8. Yep, that is a plus 8, my friends. This guy looks incredible. Oro Tagba only bringing in 11 goals in 56 games. That is a little bit underwhelming, but having said that, his shooting is quite terrible. But we're going to believe in the man from the United States. And then we have Taylor doing somewhat well, and uh, some others growing within the squad. So... Really good stuff, man. No issues at all with the performance. Yes, of course, it would have been great to go up into League One. But I think up there, they would have just smashed us. So we should stay down here for one more season, build up these youngsters, and then start rolling through the divisions. That's the dream. So who is joining us this time in a new season? It is a Frenchman for the center attacking midfield position. Another hidden gem joining us. Someone on the low rating with potential to be great. Khalil Fayad is the one I'm bringing in for 990k. Come on, give me an A. Give me an A. Give me an A. Yes, let's go. Love that. What's the rating? 65, possibly. Probably not a 66. But he comes in as a center mid. And I do want to turn him into a center attacking mid. And as we can tell, that's the position where he feels best. Best. CDM, minus 7. Center mid, same rating. Center attacking mid. He goes up. And that's why I brought him in. Great pace for a center attack in mid. I mean, it's, I shouldn't say great. It's all right. Passing is good. And then dribbling is actually very good for that spot. And he is only 5'8". So should be a great dribbler. Zero play styles. Does anyone in this team... Oh, Udo Tagba has technical. Mayer has rapid. Uh, oh, ho, ho, Youth Academy, lads, has the power shot plus. Let's go. And to finish the job in this transfer window, to spend all the money that we have, because we don't really have much, and we're bringing in a player that is going to be helping us in the centre-back position. It's Wisdom Ame. I mean, his name is amazing already. So we are spending one million on him. It's an A. Let's go. And his rating is a 65, probably. So that's great. I'm bringing in him, him in because Rawson... He's not necessarily the best. He's 28 years old. He's not necessarily going to grow too much. And Ame comes in with a 65 rating. This guy is a right footer. Okay pace. Good defending. Good physicality. Six foot two from Italy. I love Italian defenders. So this one makes a lot of sense. Let's see what this team can achieve this season. Surely that's promotion, right? Well, we did in fact have an improvement this season, but it wasn't enough. We came in in fourth and we had to play the, uh, play the playoffs once more. And that is not good. But what's good is we won the playoffs. Yes, we did, my friends. We got through in the semifinals against Carlisle and then we have beaten Gillingham, Gillingham, whatever. Morecom is through. And we are now a League One side from this moment onwards. And our squad, the attack. We have Oro Tagba on the 70 rating as we speak. Mayer on the 73. Oman up to a 73 as well. And a new man in a camp position. Fayad is looking strong. And you can tell where we have to improve next season for sure. The two CDMs, or I should say one CDM, one center mid. That is not necessarily working out. The right back needs to be improved. The left back needs to be improved. 
lots of money to be spent, but it all comes down to the budget in the new season. So let's take a closer look into if Uro Tagba has done better this time around. 14 and 4. Not amazing. What's amazing is his growth. I'll have to admit. Like, let me just quickly see how is his shooting looking. It initially was like a 54. It's up to a 66. Okay, he's slowly getting there. That's not too bad. But Mayer has once again smashed it. Coming in with 20 and 6. And Oman has done well too. So generally speaking, a great season with some improvements in certain positions. But definitely, we do need to bring in a couple of new starters. After bringing in an Italian centre-back, how about bringing in an Italian CDM? This man's name is amazing. Giacomo Faticanti. I love the name. I want him to be my greatest player. All right, lads. Let's bring him in at the rating of... Possibly 68, maybe 67, something like that. David Port, I'm sorry, get out of here. That's a plus four upgrade. And of course, it's a very talented player. Now, I'm actually sat here thinking, should I go with two CDMs? Or should I bring in a center mid into that right position, which is currently the center mid position, as you guys can tell here. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with a center mid because this guy doesn't have pace. He seems to be all about defense. So I can keep him in this spot as a CDM. And bring in someone that can do a little bit more moving forward into this position right there. Patikanti, welcome to the team. Six foot one tall Italian with high defensive work rate. Our defensive numbers should improve. Let's go ahead and shake hands with the Swedish center midfielder I am bringing in. Someone that truly is a hidden gem. Someone destined for a road to glory type career mode. It's Bergvall. Initially, he starts off at a 62 rating, but he can go up to an 85 according to FC24. That's his potential. 2.45 million we have spent on this one. And he comes in at a rating of, please, please, 70. All right, that's great. He can move forward, but also defend extremely well-rounded stats on this lad. 19 years old, six foot one tall. And honestly, he, I have a feeling, will turn out to be one of our best players. It's just a feeling I have. Let's see if that turns out to be true. Since we just brought in a Swede, let's bring in a Gelly from Norway. Yes, we are bringing in a left back into the squad now, but that's going to be the, the last transfer I can make. So just beware of that. We don't have any more budget to bring in a right back as well. It's an A. Yes, I love A's. We get a... Ooh, 65. Is that all? uh that's not 66 actually okay so most of the time i get juked with that stuff it says 66 but always is a 65 but this guy can play left back right back cdm great stats not that great in physicality and he's only 5 foot 11 for a defender but then again he's a fullback so it should be okay great signing for this team another nordic player coming in in league one this season we finished in the third position yes guys i told you it was the right thing for us to remain in league two for another season because you know we needed this we needed our team to grow to be able to compete when going up a division and we are not just competing we are competing and that is something i like to see all caps and we are in the playoff finals against portsmouth that's this is your moment. This is you pulling it off, right? Come on now. Great ratings are everywhere. And a 3-1 victory. Oro Tagba with a hat-trick. This man has finally repaid my trust that I put in him. And that, my friends, is an amazing thing to see. You need to have moments like these where you realize that your entire team looks absolutely incredible with Oman up to an 80 and your goalkeeper up to a 78. And then you look at your right back and you're like, why are you still here? <laughs> and let's go ahead and take a look into the stats of the team itself. 25 from Sasso Oman coming in and doing well for us. Oro Tagba 23 and 2, his best season clearly. Mayer with the 18 and 5, the original of the squad. I'll try and keep him until the end. But to anyone else, really, he's replaceable. Don't get too used to every single player we have here. I am very much open to upgrading with other players later on. But obviously, I'm trying to get hidden gems in. So going in and bringing in some super high rated, high potential player, not really a hidden gem, is it? So let's try and keep it going. We're going up. 
into the championship. Mr. Norton Cuffy, I need a right back and you are the one. It's an Englishman joining our club right here. Of course, we got to show some love to England as well. Brooke Norton Cuffy joining us from Nottingham Forest. Initially, he begins at Millwall in FC24 as a loaned in player, but he comes in with a massive upgrade in that position. Love, I don't love you no more. Let's bring in Norton Cuffey. Here we go. 74 rating, looking much better already defensively. And I am thinking, this kid, do I upgrade him? Do I actually? I don't know. I still have plenty of millions to spend. And I just wonder, what do I spend it on? Maybe actually I do bring in a left back and upgrade that position. Or maybe a centre back. I haven't made my decision yet. And it's time for a new left back. It's... Andres Salazar. I love the name. I saw the name and I was like, yep, I need you in my team. He's coming in and joining us at a rating of 74. Let's go, buddy. So it is a left back in the end that I brought in. Hey, some people will have to drop to the bench for the good of the team. And that's how it works. He comes in with pace, with good passing, dribbling, defending and physicality as well. Now that we are in the championship, though, most importantly, I need the entire team to grow. It's going to be very important for all of these guys to do well this season and get us to that next level. Otherwise, it could be a long road to the Prem. And now at the end of the season, look at the squad. Before I show you anything else, our right wing from the Youth Academy is an 85. I love that. His stats just look ridiculous. We just need to work on his shooting a little bit more. Mayer, the original of the squad, looks a beast. Uro Tagba, high rated, hopefully scoring loads of goals. Fayad on an 80. Our midfielders are growing along the team and... The lowest rating in the squad is actually a 78. So this team, technically, could be prepared for Premier League football, right? Let's take a look at it. In the league, Morecambe have gotten 107 points. Yes, 107. That is incredible. We are going up into the Premier League right now, guys. We have earned it. And who has done the job? I assume a lot of goals right here. Puro Tagba. Yes, buddy. It started off bad. Our relationship, it wasn't going well. But then you came in and scored loads of goals. And now I feel much better about you in that striking position. The left winger and right winger have done their job too. Dagval, see, that's the reason why I wanted to centre mid. Because I knew he could do something moving forward. This man has 23 goal contributions from centre midfield. And even our CDM has jumped in himself. So that's not too bad. Uh, we have lots of... Ooh. A seven on Wisdom Ame. He's fighting for his spot. Let's go, buddy. And Salazar with a plus four as well. Fayad with two and eight. Not that great, I'll be honest. But guys, Premier League money is coming now. Tom Bischoff. Yes, a talented player. He is the captain of one of the Germany national teams and uh, Germany youth national teams, I should say. And he has just played a full game basically starting his first game of the season for Hoffenheim he's gonna walk into the team and Fayad I'm sorry I like you buddy but I need someone to actually score goals and get assists so hopefully Tom Bischoff can do that for me I know it's only a plus one upgrade so you can still earn your spot back if you want to if you work hard enough but Tom Bischoff is coming in left footer great at dribbling and most importantly one thing that you can't obviously tell in here is he is someone that is great at set pieces as well so we are bringing him into the squad right now hoping that he can help our team in getting more assists and possibly goals from set pieces so love this signing and he's the marquee signing of the season because i do not have any more money i believe because i will have to give these guys tons of wage upgrades which are going to be very unreasonable and ruin my club. The boys have outdone themselves. I did not expect this. Guys, we got fifth. Yes, fifth position in the Premier League after getting promoted. And I have a feeling I'm going to tell you right now, next season we're going to be nowhere near this spot. I'm just feeling it already. This happened to me so many times before. I just don't see it happen. But for now, I'm going to enjoy the fact that we're going to be playing Europa League football. Yes, and Manchester United has won the league title. <laughs> Oh, well, United, as we speak, has actually lost at home against Manchester City 3-0, looking horrible. And Eric Ten Hag, I have to admit, man, I liked him at Ajax. I liked what he was doing over there. But at Manchester United, I just don't see a style of play. I think Jamie Carragher mentioned this on TV as well. 
I just don't see it. United fans, do you think you should stay? I personally think, yes, you haven't made the best transfers in the world in the past, like, I don't know how many years now, but the coaching, there has to be a style of play put in that you can just see every time you watch him play. But I haven't seen it. Let me know what you think. But United right now winning the league title. Congratulations. And our team has got Europa. And we are looking at the ratings right here. 88, 90. Wow. These guys have outdone themselves. And the rest of the team is basically just chasing them. Tom Bischoff on an 84. Fayad on an 82. He has lost the fight, it seems. Bischoff, thank you very much for coming in. Hopefully, we can see much higher ratings from him here in terms of like, not ratings, but stats. 83 is the lowest rating in the team at the moment. Let me see. Come on. 25 and 5. 21 and 2. 10 and 14. Tom Bischoff, 6 and 4. Not bad. 10 goal contributions having only played 39 games. I mean, not only, but still, that's a good season. Very good season. Appreciate that. And we move on into the next one. Where hopefully now with European football coming in to get even more money because last season I could only make one transfer. So what do you do when you get a bunch of millions? You sign free agents. <laughs> yes, that's what I've done because free agents are much cheaper and we can fill the bench with them and not feel bad about it, right? So I've brought in a bunch of them. Acuna as the striker. Abdullah, probably uh, Mo Salah, his regen. 79 rated right there with the chip shot plus. By the way, I do love the fact that a bunch of these free agents have the playstyle pluses in them. So I was thinking as a video idea next time, maybe we do a free agents only rebuild where we go after the ones with the most playstyles on them. Let me know if you would like that in the comments down below. Because especially when we go into the gameplay session after that one, it probably is going to be nuts. But yeah, we have brought in another one here with Pardo and Bach as the center back of the fact that they have the play styles on them. Hate the fact that I can't train my players to have play styles. Yep, still not capable. We qualified for the Europa League, right? And now we could win it. We are up against Nice, who have an amazing team right there with a bunch of very interesting players. But our team is ready to take them on in the final. It is a very high-rated team. It's a team that deserves Champions League football. And if we do win this right here, that should get us Champions League football. So let's please win it. Win it for us. Yes. Orkham has done it. Tom Bischoff and Mayer are the ones scoring. Get in there. Now, let me tell you one thing. I told you last season that our team is not good enough to be in that fifth position, right? Well, take a look at it right here. We came in sixth. Yep, sixth this time, 65 points. Actually, only one point away from going ahead and finishing fourth, which is a big letdown. But winning the Europa League gets us Champions League football anyway, so I'm not too worried about our positioning in the league this season. What I'm worried about is or was the rating of some of our players but what i'm seeing right now makes me feel really good 87 is the lowest rating we have alongside mayor we actually carried along one of the originals this whole time bedor this man is a left-footed player from grenada grenada is a country huh grenada i i need to look into this guy i've never heard about that one i know of granada i don't know of granada anyways i mean granada is not even a country it's a city right i believe or at least a team uh, from spain but yeah guys that team looks insane and stats wise i assume it's oro takba leading the line plus two only this season but still 24 goals two assists mayor again doing really well tom bishop 12 and 4 he is just doing a great job and bagval 13 assists this season. The Swede is doing a great job for us. And you can tell that not many people were capable of scoring too many goals right here for us. Only four players with over 10 goals. And that probably will change because now our team is looking stronger than ever before. And I do believe this team can tackle the Champions League and the Prem now. Can we go straight from winning the Europa League to winning the Champions League? Fener is our opponent. Before this, we played against Bayern Munich. We got past them both right here. City beats us in the cup, which isn't ideal. PSG in the semi-finals. 2-1 victory in the first game. 
second game turns out to be a 4-2 in the end. And now we are in the Champions League final. Yes, guys. More calm has done it. Of course. Of course it's done it. We worked so hard to get this team here against Juventus in the final. That's a very interesting opponent. Let's see what type of team Juventus has before we look into our team stats and everything. They have Martins Kovalcic up top. I assume that's probably Lewandowski's region. Gavi, Bentancur, Goretzka, Chiesa, Brito in midfield. Pato, the Ajax talent, alongside Bisek and Stones. And Restes in goal. I mean, that is a mixed up team, isn't it? Uh, Chiesa, one of the only ones left there. But let me see real quick. Have we won the Prem? Have we won the Prem? Please. No, not the FA Cup. The FA Cup we lost. I know it. Yes, we have won the Prem. Get in there, lads. Come on, Dane. Morcom has won the Prem and now has the opportunity to win the Champions League. We have also won the Carabao Cup. Yes. Okay, so sadly, we lost against City in the Cup, but that's okay. We have two titles and could turn it into a treble. If these boys step up, Uro Tagba 91, Mayer 93, Oman on a 92, Tom Bischoff going up to a 91 himself and everyone else in his team. Honestly, we've done a great job, guys. I appreciate it. Even the players on the bench are looking solid, so they can be quite usable. And here are the stats. 33 and 2, 28 and 12. Wow. And then Tom Bishop, 20 and 7 from Cam. Yes. Oman, 20 and 14. Bagval, 9 and 10. Great season. Amazing season, honestly. That is exactly what I wanted to see. We have turned the worst team in England to the best team in England, winning the Premier League, to now turn them into the best team in Europe. Let's freaking do this. You all against us you know all i want to do is have oman on the ball and take a power shot i believe he might be the only player in our team with a playstyle. i'm not even kidding but hopefully at least the playstyle plus he's the only one that has it that's for sure and also i'm feeling a little bit better uh throughout the past few days as you guys might have noticed in my videos as i've mentioned i've been quite sick today might be one of the last days of me being sick so hopefully soon fully healthy again and uh, filled with energy for the videos oh what a pass into Uro Tagba he's been chased oh he has some great dribbling on him for such a tall player and there comes the finesse not the finesse the Trivella cross whipped Ooh, dude Restes is insane oh that's some good passing yes solid tackle Uro Tagba he oh wow how the hell did he get past there Mayer is sprinting Mayer, come on. This time you can score. Yes, this time he can. Lovely finish from Mayer. He is an original of the squad. And now Morcom take the lead in a Champions League final. Thanks to the original. It couldn't be a better story. By the way, I just looked up. Where is Grenada? Yes, Grenada, as you guys remember, the country of the player that we have as our captain. And it is right around Trinidad and, and Tobago, below the Dominican Republic, right on top of South America. Okay, now we are smarter. Oh, the way they're just... Oh, wow. Oh, Juve. Dangerous stuff. Wait, what? How did we just give away a free kick here? Patrick Schick and Leon Goretzka on their free kick. Goretzka takes it straight onto the wall. Juve not able to get a goal in this first half hopefully by the end of this by the end of this dribbling please hello can someone take the ball off of gavi that'd be much appreciated ref blow the whistle maybe maybe yes thank you good throw into mayor finding the man here goes Udo tagba come on buddy come on this is your moment champions league final Udo tagba I was thinking of replacing you after the first season. In the second season, I still thought this guy's not scoring enough goals. But you have proven me wrong. In terms of gameplay, bro, he's so tall, so strong, and for some reason can dribble like he's five foot six. This is the perfect striker. Uro Tagba going ahead straight away. Look at the dribbling. That's exactly what I mentioned earlier on. Here goes. 
The main man with the higher rating. Oh, man. Come on. Why are we chesting? Why are we chesting? Thank you. Here we go. Atikanti looking for Tom Bischoff. He finds Uro Tagba once more. He's off to the races. Look at him sprinting across, finding his teammate, Mayer. He scores another one. We got to give credits to Uro Tagba for leading that one on for so long to find the perfect moment for the sweat. Yes, sweaty goals, old KSI style. And there's the end. More calm have won it. Champions League winners from the worst team to the best team in the world. Come on, Din. And in comes the man from Grenada. Bedo is the one to lift the trophy. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed this one a ton and I hope you did too. Rebuilding clubs like these is the most fun you can really have. And next time, I'm genuinely thinking about the idea of going with the free agents with the insane play styles. Thank you, though, so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care and peace.